Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So today we are going to see another medium level problem from lead code. The problem number is 74, which is very similar to the problem done yesterday, which is a search 2D matrix 2. This is the, the first one, search 2D matrix 1, you can say. So, so it basically says write an efficient algorithm that searches for a value in a M into N matrix. The matrix has the following properties. So again, we have a two dimensional matrix over here and we need to search a value. Integer in each row are sorted from left to right. So each one of these rows are sorted as you can see over here. 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, 11, 16, 20, 23, 30, 34, 60. And the second property says the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. So the first integer of each row, that means this value starts from uh, second row because there is no previous row to this row, right? So this value will always be greater than this value, right? So this value will always be greater than this value. So the relationship is something like this, right? So, so we are going to search this matrix and we have to find a particular value like in this case it is 3 and if the value is not present then in that case we have to return a false if it is present we have to return a true so the function returns a boolean so we are going to look at the solution and um, as i always recommend do give it a try yourself before you look at the solution so there is a big hint uh, to solve this problem in the yesterday's problem that i have done so, so that was search a matrix search a 2d matrix second problem and today we are going to look at the first problem so do give it a try uh, try to think of a solution in the similar lines as we have uh, solved yesterday you as well and then you can continue watching my video so let's head over to the board and check out the solution so i've taken the same example from lead code and we are going to look at different kind of solution that we can have over here so one pretty easy solution that one we can think of is iterate over all the elements and when you find a match you uh, re uh, you return a true so this is one a very easy solution or i will say this is a very naive approach of doing it wherein we are not using or capitalize capitalizing on any of the properties given to us right so this will have a order of m m into n so row and column complexity so if the uh, three rows and four columns then it will have a complexity like the worst case would be like 12 right we are iterating over nearly all the elements there could be a better solution so the solution to so each, since each of the rows are uh, sorted and let's say i am looking for an element which is 34 so i go over each row and see if this number could fit between the starting and end of it so can th 34 fit inside this range no it's not possible can 34 fit inside this range it's not possible does 34 uh, fall in this range the ranges are 2360 so yeah this is true but for the other one like 10 20 it was not possible for 1 7 it was not possible so yeah we got a match over here so identify the row the first step would be to identify the exact row and second step would be to do a binary search so binary search will give you a log of n right runtime complexity and finding this uh, identifying this row so you have to go over each one of the rows right so there are m rows over here so this will give you an order of m so you're going over all the rows so this will give you an order of m plus log n complexity right over here so this one over here is definitely better than the solution of the uh, the first solution that we have seen but as i always uh, mention that uh, when we are talking about uh, a, a, a sorted search space and we are finding a particular element the best case is best case always lies in order of uh, order of log n right and that is nothing but a, just a normal binary search which is going to be our solution three but how do we do a normal binary search when we have a two-dimensional array so there are multiple rows multiple columns so how we are going to capitalize on the binary search in order to come up with the solution so let's uh, so let's look at this example in a little more details and let's understand how we can get this done so here i have created the array once again for you and let me put down the index for each one of this so the first cell is identified by 00, zero right then 0, 01 0, 02 0, 03 and so on so let me complete this full first so here is our array and we are going to see how we are going to do a binary search in this space in a two dimensional matrix so just for simplicity let me put this array like this first 
So I have put down this array over here and due to the property that this element over here will always be greater than this element over here and that is true for every row and also the, the numbers are in increasing sequence. So you see that when I put this array as a normal one dimensional array, this is nothing but a sorted array and can we perform a binary search on this? Definitely we can. It's a very easy thing, right? We take the left, we take the right, we find out the mid and we are going to do it. But here the problem is our array is a two dimensional array, not a one dimensional array. So let's see how we can capitalize on this. So uh, let's look at the algorithm and see how simple it becomes in, in finding those things. So here what I have done is I have mapped the indexes. So the first index is 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1 and so on. So you understand this mapping system right that you you have in this right and let's see how we can uh, leverage on this one so let's make it happen how we can treat a two dimensional array as a one dimensional array and perform a binary search on top of it few questions before that what how many rows we have if this uh, if this matrix is denoted by m how many rows we have we have m dot length rows right very simple next question is how many columns do we have it's very simple it's m0 dot length right very simple so if it is if it would have been a one dimensional array what would have been its length it would have been rope into call right so let's put these values uh, in our cases over here how many rows we have we have three rows how many calls do we have we have we have four calls what is the size of the array 12 right so here we have 12 elements size of the array is 12 if it is a one dimensional array right uh, what do we do in a binary search so we take the left we take the right and then we calculate the mid so let's take those those values and see so left how do we initialize left we left initialize left with zero the leftmost item right then we have the right and what do we initialize the right with array length minus one right the last index so here length minus one okay we are good and then what do we do in a in a binary search so let's put down the algorithm for binary search just written down the algorithm for a normal binary search over here so left should be less than right we are finding the mid by doing uh, checking the half if m mid is the target then we are returning true if else uh, it is uh, the mid is less than the target we are going towards the left side if not we are going to the right side so how, how this all will is going to help me in a 2d array so let's check it out and let's see how how uh, nice is the solution for this so let's do, do a dry run so what we'll do is i'll get some space over here yeah so let's put down the left right and the mid so we have the left we have the right and we have the mid so initially the left is at zero i hope you can see yeah and uh, the right is at 11 the last index right so we are going to find out the mid so to do the mid we are using this formula over here mid equals to left plus right this is basically uh, the finding the half of it nothing else <coughs> so 11 by 2 which is 5.5 we'll take it as 5 so we get a number 5 and uh, what we do with this 5 this is going this is not going to work over here so what basically we are going to do with this five is we are going to build a mapping system with the data that we already have so how so let's see so we got a five and this five means it is zero one two three four five it should match to one one right so i have i have this five and this five is actually mapped to this element over here right so how is all this relationship coming into place so let's say if i have my matrix over here so i have to break down five into a row and a column so for this row what if i say that so this this five is nothing but the mid right this is nothing but the mid so for row what if i say that i have the mid I will divide it by the number of columns we have each of the row can hold the column items column means four items so i am just dividing it by the column to identify the row where this five belongs to and for column what we are doing a, a little different thing we are doing a mid mod column 
so what will happen is when i do this op when i perform this operation so basically i am doing a 5 by 4 and we are getting a 1 and here what we are doing we are doing a 5 mod 4 we are getting a 1 so just check 1 1 so if i put this 1 1 over here what will happen we are pointing to this cell so see we have just established a mapping relation between the elements so let's let's test this mapping element on few of the other values so as we know this is the fifth element now this is six seven eight nine ten so let's say i wanted to check my tenth element so when when say if i if i have to find for 10 what i would do i would do a 10 divided by 4 what i would get i would get a 2 right and for the column what i'll do i'll do a 10 mod 4 so what i'll get i'll get a 2 right so what is happening we are pointing to this column so see how easily we have changed this relationship and have found a way to map a two dimensional array in a one dimensional way right so now if you see this algorithm this will start making a sense so i know the mid and i know from the mid how do i calculate my ij so let me get some space here so what i need to calculate is the i and the j so i i can say is that it will be mid by call and for j the next element what i can say is j is mid mod col mod column so this is how we start identifying the elements now since i know the i and the j what i can say is i will not do a m mid this was just for your reference we are going to do a m i j and similarly for the rest also we are going to change so we found a way how we are going to map this guys from a single dimensional to two dimensional array now every time i i do the left and the right so i know the length i am operating on the length and every time i am finding the mid the very same way and i am using this in order to transform them to a two dimensional value so this is helping us to transform this into a two dimensional array so basically what i am doing i am doing a simple binary search right now over here i am just doing a binary search and i am finding the mid just two two extra lines and this two extra line is helping us to point that mid to that particular 2d array back and we are checking and again we are adjusting our right and left accordingly and if we are finding the target we are returning a true and if we come out of the loop ever then we are going to say return a false because it's never been found so this algorithm is as simple as that this is the entire trick lies in this part and nowhere else so this guides us on making this two dimensional array into a one dimensional array right i hope you got the concept so what we are going to do is we are going to head over to the code and uh, see the solution it's going to be as simple as what we did so we are going to do exactly the same thing that we have done so we are going to find out how many rows we have we have matrix dot length number of rows we are going to find how many columns we have we have matrix zero dot length for that particular any of the row we can pick up and do that so that is good so what what becomes our length our length become rows into calls right and we have this left which is pointing to zero and we have the right which is pointing to length minus one so our indexes are fixed and now what we are doing is while left is less than right the same thing that we do in a binary search we are going to do that and inside it we are going to find out the mid and we are going to do the exact same thing that uh, we used to do in a binary search left plus right minus left by two sorry okay and now the magic is we have we are going to calculate the i and the j so we are going a mid by call sorry we have set calls over here okay int j equals to mid mod calls that's it we got the indexes from the mid and what we are going to say is now if my matrix i j is equals to the target we are going to return a true else if we are going to do some regulations check that we do matrix i 
j if it is let's say greater than target so if it is greater than the target what i what we generally do is we change the right because we need to go left uh, on the left of the array so we are setting the right to meet previous index okay otherwise what we are going to do is we are going to cha change left so evident that here matrix ij is less than target so what we are going to say is mate plus one so basically here what we are doing we are going to the right side so the right remain at its position and we are changing the left and putting it to mates next position and what we are going to say over here if we are able to come out of this loop that means the match has never happened okay so let's run this code and see how it goes oh i can't code without a mistake well let's wrong answer what did i do wrong okay sorry it should be left than equal to right my bad another mistake so well it has been accepted let's do a submit and check for a broader range of test cases and here you go we have zero millisecond faster than 100 percent of the submission so well here is the entire idea we have discussed about all the three approaches and um, we have come up uh, and we have and we are able to come up with the best solution that uh, is order of login which is which i feel is pretty impressive and there is no trick other than those three those two lines that i showed you that's the relationship that we are establishing between a 2d matrix and a 1d matrix right so that is the entire trick of this algorithm i hope you got the concept of how we are mapping that relationship and uh, and uh, coming up with the right indexes so the number of columns how important a role it is playing in order to uh, capitalize on the same so if you think this video was helpful do give me a like do share and subscribe as well and do let me know um, also in the comments once again if you want me to uh, solve any particular problem do let me know do mention it in the comment it could be from any of the platform or it could be an offline problem as well so yeah i would i can help you to do it come up with a detailed video like this in order to show how how what is the thought process how how we are uh, doing the mental map of the problem and coming up with the solution so thank you guys uh, thanks a lot for all the support and love towards this channel and uh, have a great day bye bye hope to see you guys soon again